Hi friends, welcome back to Better with Brigetta. Today I'm making chicken parmesan in a pomodoro sauce. For the chicken parmesan, you're gonna need flour, two eggs, mozzarella cheese, chicken breasts, breadcrumbs, olive oil, basil, parsley, parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, which is in a fancy pepper mill. For the pomodoro sauce, you're gonna need onion, a little chicken broth, garlic, crushed tomatoes, red pepper flakes, and we're gonna put it over spaghetti. Our first step for the chicken parmesan is to cut them in half. Here's our four pieces. Now, I still wanna pound them flat, flatter than they are now, so they're more equal. Okay. Don't forget this part. <laughs> All right. This is the pepper cannon. And then we're gonna flip over and do the other side. Now it's time to start the pomodoro sauce. So I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil and the onions and garlic. We're gonna have those cook on low for about around five, maybe 10 minutes. Mark requested this sauce and the chicken parmesan recipe was requested by a sus subscriber. All right, I'm gonna add my crushed tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna let that simmer on low while we're doing the chicken parmesan. All right, we're on to our next step. I have my station here ready to go. So flour, the flour has salt and pepper in it. We have our two eggs, which we need to beat until frothy. And then the last dish has got breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese, equal amounts. That would be half a cup. So we're gonna dip each one first in the flour, then the eggs, then the breadcrumbs, and then they're gonna stick in our pan that we're gonna take over to the stove. We wanna make sure it gets totally coated. Make sure it's coated in the egg. on both sides. And then into the breadcrumbs, which do a Parmesan cheese. Now this is gonna be a two-part cooking process. It's gonna cook on the stove and in the oven. how we want it to look.
And now we're going to add salt and pepper and the basil. So Mark's already freshly ground the pepper for me. And I'm going to get salt. And add the basil, which they smell so good. Beautiful. So like I said, uh, when you're almost ready to serve it, if you decide it's too thick for you, you can add some chicken broth. You can also add some sugar if you like it just a little sweeter. But otherwise, we're going to let this continue to simmer on the stove. I'll put the lid back on. Now we don't want to crowd our pan. We're only putting two pieces in at a time. And they're only going to cook a few minutes each side because they're going to do the rest of their cooking in the oven. We want them browned on each side, but definitely not burned. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's what we want. So we can check the internal temperature. Oh, yes. Beautiful. All right, we're going to add more sauce on top of each chicken breast and then mozzarella cheese on top of that. Now we're going to put the mozzarella cheese on top, which I've shredded, of course. But you can just use slices of mozzarella. Right now we're going to put it in the oven. And we're going to top it with some parsley and basil. Here we go. Let's put, put it on a beautiful serving dish. Oh, check that out. Check out that cheese pull. Beautiful.
I'm going to add some sauce. Try and get some on the spaghetti underneath. Of course, we still have plenty of sauce in our pot. You're ready to eat chicken parmesan with pomodoro sauce, which of course you could use instead of pomodoro, you could have marinara or you can have spaghetti sauce. It's totally up to you, but this is what Mark asked for, so we're gonna now give it a try. It sure looks beautiful. I think that's big enough for both of us. Yeah, I think so too. Let's grab some spaghetti there. Some spaghetti. And of course you could toss that in the sauce. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, these pieces are large. A little nice crisp to it. There you go. Thank you. And I want to say, Melody, this bites for you. Mm. Perfectly seasoned. Wow. Wow, wow. Delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you could definitely add crushed red pepper flakes in your sauce or right now. Either way. Very good. Well, now I gotta finish what's in my mouth. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. We will. Bye-bye.